Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be continuing from where we left off in Rise of the Emperor by heading into the heart of New Adasta to provoke the Emperor as Lana suggested. Just as a reminder, today's video is sponsored through my partnership with W Energy. If you're looking for a clean all-natural energy drink that won't give you the crashes and jitters of most energy drinks, then W Energy is the energy drink for you and my discount code Joshua265 will get you 10% off and there is a starter set for those just starting out. Without further ado, let's get underway. Your current mission objective is located at the People's Tower in New Adasta. Transport is ready for departure.
been able to find the right place to stand that that won't blow us backwards too. that you and I should talk in person. I'll see you shortly.
I'd rather not talk right now, sir. Well, then you shouldn't have been in the way. You've made it. Good. Time is short. So is reliable assistance. As if I don't have enough to contend with, Agent Kovac has gone missing. We'll have to do without him, so I've reached out to another ally. Are you in position? Yeah, but this setup isn't anything like what you described. So what you're saying is you can't figure it out? Don't get all... I'll figure it out. We're about to begin, so that would be nice. What exactly are we about to begin, Lana? You're going to make Fischert angry. So angry that he'll place all his attention on killing you. When the time comes, you'll lead him to an electrostatic weapon stored here in the heart of New Adasta. It's meant to be a last resort against major civil uprisings, but Theron's modifying it to be non-lethal. With the reduced charge, its radius of impact will diminish. You have a weapon designed with the sole purpose of killing your own people? It's not as if we install one in every metropolis. We nearly lost New Adasta to unrest once before. Well, in that case... Shall we get started? Attention, former Sith Emperor. Your repeated and horrific crimes against the Republic and innocent civilians throughout the galaxy will not go unpunished. On the authority of the Army of the Galactic Republic, I hereby notify you of your impending annihilation. Whatever you truly are, whatever power you think you have, it won't save you from me. I think that did it. I have to go now. There's much to be done. Too much. I shouldn't have come here, truth be told. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Even under these circumstances, it's nice to be wrong. That it is. May the Force serve you well. That's the kindest tone she's taken with us so far of this third mission. <laughs> Hey, that was awkward. Not as bad as my previous chat with her, believe it or not. Look, my team, my Jedi, more than anyone here, they're my responsibility. You can find some way, any way at all. Just please help them. Don't do the other thing. Luckily for you, it's not that type of playthrough. You think I don't know what you're doing? Of course I know. I know everything, simple little soldier. And I will enjoy watching you fail. Can you say so? Yeah! <laughs> 
Engaging hostile. Jedi. If you let them live, they will just keep murdering in my name. Don't hesitate. Kill them. I won't mind. <laughs> and neither will your dear ally. The loyal Republic servant. So noble. So pathetic. That's it. Got to suffer as big a non-lethal burst as we can manage. Should be enough to zap anyone in range into a nice long involuntary nap. Should be. Hard to come up with a one-size-fits-all solution. A lot of guesswork involved. Wish there was some way we could do a test run. They've got to be closing in. Then come on, we need to be shielded. Wait until they're good and close. I came across two of your team, Theron. And? I gave them a shock. When I left, they were still out. Good, thanks. Let's just hope that they don't end up in the Emperor's control as soon as they wake up. Okay, here comes the Puppet Brigade. Fingers crossed. Closest, took the biggest hit. Still alive. We did it. Let's just hope we got all of them. We should call Lana now, see if she has a plan for what's next. I have a better idea. Master Suro. No. Watching you believe you have a chance. It's amused me. Now, this whole charade is pathetic. Now, how do you wish to die? In combat, or on your knees? Go away, little Sith.
This has nothing to do with your friends. This is you and I. Hey, Master Suro. This would be a good time to come on out. Your words are as desperate as they are useless. And they will be your last. I saw it. I saw everything. Every life. Every life he took. I took. It's all I can see anymore. I'm a monster. It's not true. You'll be okay. I'll take you to Tython. The Jedi will help you restore your mind and make you whole again. And then she'll be no good to us. We need to understand the connection Bishop established with this Jedi so we can stop it or exploit it. Yeah, and let me guess, the process is invasive. Hasn't she been through enough? We've bought ourselves some time, that's all. We can't risk the fate of the galaxy just to assuage your guilt. You want to take her brain apart, and you don't even know if you'll find anything. We have to try. He's never leaving. I'm going to hear him forever. Master Suro goes with Theron. You're joking. Tell me you're joking. You heard him. You may have killed us all. I hope you're happy. Well, let's hope she doesn't turn the Imperial Army on us. Just to be safe, I'll get Master Suro off-world as soon as I can. We got a break from the Emperor, but that may only last until all the trained killing machines we zapped get on their feet again. Meantime, maybe we can get Suresh to agree to a strategic retreat. Yes, because Suresh is always agreeable. Hey, managed to get through to Suresh. Couldn't get her to budge on the withdrawal idea, but maybe you can sway her. She wants to talk to you anyway. Well, of course. Favorite person to talk to. I'm sure you have questions for me about the status of our invasion, but first, I have questions for you. What can you tell me about these possessions? Theron Sean seems to think that, while it was an isolated matter at first... I'm curious. Do you really believe you've accomplished anything here? What do you think you've stopped? I'm not gonna let you kill every living thing just so you can live forever. I have already cheated death. I have other plans now. As you will see. 
I have decided that life is more interesting with you in it. If you wish to keep railing against me, then so be it. Your interference changes nothing. When I am finished here, when every life on this world has been exhausted, I want you to be alive, to know that I succeeded. How kind of you. Goodbye. Sensors indicate high energy readings from the surface of Sios. No further readings have been available since the event. You notice a warning that orbital sensors detect a planetary anomaly. A widespread crisis may be imminent. If you choose to investigate, further travel to Sios' surface may become impossible, leaving any open concerns there to be unresolved. So in other words, if you were planning to do the side quests on Sios, make sure you do them before you check the planetary status. Understood. Thank you. Thank you. What was that about? Master Suro. She went catatonic for a while. Now she's responsive. Not in the greatest shape, but they say it's promising. Some good news would be nice for a change. Yeah, I'm right there with you. Suresh finally saw reason before things got too bad. Got a bunch of our troops out of there. Still, we lost so many. Never mind the rest of Zyost. Anyway, it's all out of my hands now. Suppose I shouldn't even be here, technically. Suresh and Master Satil weren't all that excited to find out I had a team of Black Ops Jedi on call without their knowledge. I'm on administrative leave. Indefinitely. Forget about the SIS. I could use someone like you at my side. Tempting offer, but... 
Growing up, I had an idea of who and what I would be. In a lot of ways, that didn't happen. But in the ways that matter... What I'm saying is, I belong with the SIS. I'm not throwing in the towel. Good to hear. We still have the Emperor out there somewhere, and Suresh will want to press the attack after Zyost. That does sound like Suresh, all right. I should have reached out to you sooner. Whatever's next, whatever insanity comes our way, I won't make that mistake again. Hmm. Take care of yourself. I don't know. You make an awful lot of mistakes there. Have to wait for the cooldown to finish. There we go. <clears throat> so that we can bring Rise of the Emperor to its conclusion and begin Knights of the Fallen Empire. Make a note of a warning that planetary traffic control stations are unresponsive. However, orbital centers report that Zyos atmosphere remains within acceptable levels. Transport is available for departure to a designated landing zone. Empire. Welcome back, Master. If you detect the aroma of Alderanian nectar, I program the air circulators to simulate it. Enjoy! You're about to progress beyond a critical story point and begin Knights of the Fallen Empire. Any class content or companion stories you have not completed will become unavailable to you. It also means your crew of available companions will dramatically change. Are you ready to continue? So if there's anything that you have to wrap up before you get to this point, make sure you do. Otherwise, beginning Knights of the Fallen Empire will cancel everything out and change things dramatically. Without further ado, let's begin. And it asks you a second time just to make sure you're really sure.
a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Star Wars. Knights of the Fallen Empire. It is a time of chaos. A mysterious army led by twin conquerors has carved a path of destruction across the worlds of the Warring Galactic Republic and Sith Empire, then disappeared into uncharted space. Meanwhile, an older threat still looms. The former Sith Emperor, revitalized after annihilating all life on the planet Zyost, has similarly vanished without a trace. Determined to hunt down these dangerous foes at any cost, Imperial leader Darth Maar gathers allies from both factions to join his incursion into the far reaches of wild space. Top off and weapons check. Let's keep this quick. I'll make sure Forex doesn't realize who we're docked with. He might start getting creative. That said, I'll be keeping my weapons handy. Whatever happens, we'll be ready. Major. Captain? Darth Maul awaits you on the bridge. I trust you remember the way. Has Mar really found the Sith Emperor all the way out here? I wouldn't presume to speak for Lord Mar, but I've never known him to exaggerate. Welcome aboard. Been spotted. We're due to engage at any minute now. I got your message. Have you really found him? I can sense him even now. We grow closer every moment. Our former Emperor is out there. Do we know what could have brought him to this area? My ship's charts don't have much. There are rumors of many civilizations in this region, but our only outposts nearby were destroyed without explanation some time ago. The culprits were never determined. Why travel so far? Why consume every living thing on Zyos, then turn and flee into the depths of wild space? For all his shows of power, he must have a weakness, or he wouldn't have stopped with Zyost. That would be reassuring, <laughs> wouldn't it? 
If we do locate him, I believe I can press the Dark Council into line. But what of the Republic? The cooperation we've received has been beneficial, but limited and apparently unofficial. Will your government help destroy this threat? I'm an officer, but I'm no general. I can't speak for anyone outside of my squad. I'm told the Chancellor has contacted you personally. More than once. Perhaps you could contact her next time. My lord, sensor contact. Fifteen clicks. Small, no life form readings. Some kind of probe. Readings are identical to scans from the unknown force that attacked Korriban. Raise shields. Pursue and destroy. Why would someone send a probe out this far? Some kind of survey? We can find out from the wreckage. Evasive maneuvers. Come about 180 degrees. Report hostile forces. I'll sweep for borders. You get us out of here. Set deflectors to double aft. Divert weapon power to the engines. I have to step away for a minute. I'll be right back.
blast door shut. That shield won't hold forever. We can't just leave them in there. We have to help. We have to hold this ground. They have their job, we have ours. Drop the shield and let me through. I can handle this. Right away! We'll cover the exit and make sure no stragglers sneak out past you. Never even heard of shooting like that. Regroup at the bridge. We can't lose control of the ship. Right away. Thank you.
the starboard compartment. Stop there, Banks. Can't detach. Repeat, airlock is blown out and docking clamps aren't responding. We can't come in and we can't detach. Do you copy? I copy, Jorgen. I'm on my way. dots on the sensor grid out here. What's the plan? Do what you can to cover us from out there. We need all the help we can get. Copy that. We'll show them what Havoc Squad's made of. Good luck, Major.
bridge is secure for now, but without main power, we'll be destroyed in seconds. Let's not waste any time, then. Power cores on its last legs. We can juice the shields back up, but they won't hold for long. The hyperdrive has been completely burnt out. Enemies on the bridge. Repeat, enemies are on the. There are rudimentary backup controls here, but the enemy ships have us surrounded. We have few options left. Then we save as many lives as we can. Attention! Shields are failing and the enemy has us surrounded. Evacuate now while you still can.
You've awakened. I trust you can walk. What is this place? My flagship. You've arrived at the heart of our empire. Come along. What empire have we entered? The Eternal Empire, Zakul. You didn't even know whose territory you were invading. We didn't invade anything. We were looking for someone. In an armed warship. We weren't looking for a friend. What do you hope to achieve by taking us prisoner? I have questions. You will provide the answers. We will tell you nothing. You won't have to speak to give me the answers I need. Prince Arkin, final docking sequence initiated. from your ship's computers, or what was left of them. Fascinating reading. That one soldier could have such a significant impact on a war of that scale. Quite impressive. All of your soldiers appear to be droids. Not enough live volunteers? I can find volunteers when I need to. Prince Arkan? Heskel. Still waiting for the catastrophe that you and your scions foretold. You may close your ears to the whispers of fate, my prince, but they cannot be silenced. I wonder if silencing you might suffice. Take your superstitions elsewhere, Heskel. You are not needed here. Your followers don't seem to be as sure of your invincibility as you are. Unimportant relics with unfounded beliefs. Don't be swayed by their nonsense. Is this why you brought us? To hear you bicker with soothsayers? Come along. You're taking us to your master. I'm taking you to my father, Valkorion, the immortal emperor of Zakul. An emperor? Just what we were searching for. You will not find what you wanted here. Oh, how mistaken you are. <laughs>
His glorious majesty, immortal master and protector of Zakul, Emperor Valkorion. Welcome. A new name. A new face. These are not enough to hide from us. Mar? I would know his presence anywhere. The Sith Emperor. We've been hunting you. A second Empire? Even you couldn't have built all of this. There must be another explanation. You presume limits to my power. There are none. Your constant silence across our history. This was your distraction? This was my focus. Everything else a means to an end. You claim to have come all this way to find me. Here I am. What do you want? I want you to answer for your crimes. The destruction of Zayas, decades of war between the Republic and the Empire. You caused it all. The fates of your core worlds and the people on them are of no concern to me. You say you know me. If that is true, then you know the depths of my power. Whatever you hoped to achieve here, you know deep inside that you cannot succeed. But you do not have to stand against me. Instead, you can kneel. I will never again kneel to you! You would sooner die than acknowledge my superiority? It is you who fears death, Valkorion. I do not. I will not kneel! Everyone out! Why send your new followers away? Something you don't want them to hear? They are not like us. In all my centuries, you alone have merited my full attention. You leave your mark upon the galaxy wherever you act, just as I do. Look around you. Zakul is poised to become the greatest civilization in the history of the galaxy. I have forged this empire to surmount all of my previous works, to span eternity. The Eternal Throne commands a fleet more vast than any ever built. It has the power to reshape the galaxy into any image that I choose. That we choose. I will share all of this with you, if you will only kneel. I've seen the things you do. Sharing isn't one of them. You're a monster. I'll never join you. So be it. First your brother, now your father. Does my ambition truly surprise you? 
You do not have ambition, only jealousy. That is why you fail. This is for all the people you forced to suffer and die. So be it. Outlander has assassinated our Emperor. Take him away. The cool. The unthinkable has happened. Our beloved Emperor, Valkorion, is dead. Murdered by an outlander who sought to shake the foundations of our great society. The assassin will receive swift and just punishment. And this act of unprovoked aggression will be answered. As your new emperor, I can promise you this. Zakul's enemies will face the full power of the eternal throne. They will answer for their war-mongering ways. And every last one of the core worlds will burn. to a dream of empire. I have always loved the stars. Your death was too good to be true. You can't fool me. Deception was not my desire. You deserve truth. You cannot wield the Force, yet you triumph over powers far greater. You have earned my respect. I followed you here so we might speak undisturbed. You're not the same lunatic I fought back on Zyast. I am, and am not. Change overtakes us all in the end. Your Havoc Squad. Its members followed you beyond all reason. Loyalty. A mindless patriot. The 
bitter survivor. A self-righteous defector. A scheming manipulator. And a perpetual outsider. What becomes of soldiers without their leader? Warriors who lose their cause. Love keeps me fighting when nothing else will. Love withers when it is neglected. Left alone too long. Love will seek another. We'll be together again. Each day they drift further out of reach. Without a center to hold. Without us, the galaxy and all within it spiral into chaos. What's happening to me? The carbon freezing was imperfect. Your body is poisoned. Dying. Old foes have come to take your life. I'm not afraid. None of this is real. Illusions can kill. If you want That's to true enough. Live, you must fight.
This is a soldier's fate. You can join them. Or choose a better destiny. I've never been afraid to die. But I want my people to live. Spend your life taking orders from cowardly politicians. Such a waste. I protect free worlds from scum like you. No regrets about that. Your Republic is an empty ideal. Its people cannot appreciate your service. I don't fight for a parade. You deserve better than empty gestures. There is greatness in you that cannot be denied. You are a far superior leader to any Chancellor. I won't bother explaining democracy to a Sith. I am no Sith, and democracy is overrated. This Republic is not worth saving any more than my Empire. We have a greater purpose. I'm loyal to the Republic. Nothing you show me will change that. You refuse to see the truth. It will cost you. You failed to defend their home. They will not forgive you. Right or wrong, I'm not firing on my own people. Republic, Empire, the Eternal Throne conquers all. You cannot stop it. Save yourself.
general guns. decisions what she cared about her people. Still playing the lapdog? So be it. Zios, the world where everything changed. For me, you, the galaxy. You killed every living being here. They died, opening my eyes to the truth. I have passed beyond death's reach. Everything dies, even you. Our flesh is not who we are. Voices, hands. Children, I no longer require those crude vessels. At long last, I am truly free. Your freedom cost millions of innocent lives. You're nothing but a monster. I am a part of you. Now more than ever, I have done all I can to preserve your life. Why would you do that? You are a part of me. I wish to keep. I cannot save you unless you want to live. I can take this heap of slag alone. Show me.
You are the only one who has ever matched my will to survive. It's not about survival. I have a war to win. No, it ended long ago. Chapter 3, Outlander. We're gonna do the opening of this and then that will be where we will conclude for the day. Don't try to move. You're dying. 
I may have your cure, but I'm not going to lie. This will hurt. That wasn't quite so bad. Lana, am I glad to see you. Not sure why there are so many of you, but... Let's table any thank yous until I've got you fully recovered and off-world. Gear up, quickly. Is that a Republic model? T-701. He's agreed to help rescue you. Not a very big crew. Yes, well, it's the best I could manage. It will have to be enough. The Empire and Republic have all but fallen to the man who imprisoned you. You're our last hope. <laughs> Come on. Alright, and that is where we are going to conclude for today. Thank you for joining me for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Also, feel free to join us over on twitch.tv slash channel 2 Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.